OK, so in this example, in this problem, they have s, the position function is s equals 160t minus 16t squared. Automatically, um, it says, how high does the rock go? So this rock is being launched up, right? So if you guys remember, it's going to look something like that, right? And they're basically looking at, for us to plug to find that maximum value. So there's a couple different ways we could do this. If we have a graph, if we have a graphing calculator, a graphing calculator is great because what we can simply do is go ahead and graph it. So we go into y equals, write in our equation, and then I go ahead and graph it. But when I graph it, I notice that the graph does not fall within my range at all. So what I did is I went to my window and I changed the y max to be 500. And I changed the y min and y max to be negative 10, 10, and so forth. Then when I go ahead and graph, you guys can see that I have my nice little upside down parabola. Right? So now, to find that maximum point, I do my second calc. And I go ahead and say, I want to find the maximum. So then I just use trace to find my left bound. And then I use, and then I find my right bound. And then I hit Enter. And I want to get close to the vertex, but I don't need to be exactly. And I get 4.99999, which is basically the calculator approximately saying that um, y is equal to 400. So how high does the mat um, to go by using my calculator? I can see that this point is 5, 400. So A, I can say that the rock reaches 400 feet. Now, let's pretend we don't have a calculator. What am I going to be able to do to I find this? Now, what we can do is look at the velocity. Remember, the velocity is the slope at all these different points. At this maximum, what is the velocity? Zero, Zero right? So guess what? Why don't I go ahead and find the um, why don't I go ahead and find the velocity function here? So s prime is equal to 160 minus 32 t. Um, right? That's when it is equal to um, zero. Not oh shoot. Now hold on, hold on, just one second. Hold on one second. Now. I want to find out when it's the, this is equal to 0. So replace this with 0. And that's going to tell me how long it takes, which is going to equal t is equal to 5. Hold on a second. Can you just hold on a second, please? Now that I found how long it takes for it to velocity equal to 0, 5 is my value. I plug 5 into my position function. So I do s of 5, and that's 160 times 5 minus 16 times 5 squared, guess what s of 5 gives me? 400. 